Hi, I'm Ken Brophy, and I'd like to give you an overview of the data visualization feature in Admin Console. We start by selecting the topic that we'd like to see the data from. Here we have a topic with a single data writer, and we'll go to the Topic Data tab and click Subscribe, which brings up the Create Subscription dialog. And we can choose our data type. In this case, we only have one data type, but since topics can have multiple data types, um, you might get more than one here, depending on your system. If you don't have any data type, then you can load your data type from XML. And if you don't have the XML, you can create that using the code generators dash convert to XML option. In the advanced settings, we can pick the QoS profile that we want to use. In our case, the default is fine. We can also add more QoS profiles, maybe our own. Um, by using this link here, Manage QoS Profiles. And one thing we do want to change is we want to override the reliability to be reliable. We're then asked if we want to change perspectives to data visualization, which we'll do. And we can see here the instance table. The instance table has a single row for each, uh, for each instance in the, in the topic. And the fields of the data are in columns. And we also have a couple of the sample info fields here, which are the metadata. If you want to choose other fields to add, you can bring up the select fields dialog. And in our case, that would only be the sample info, but there's nothing else that I wanted to add to this one. And you can export data from this uh, view to a comma separated values file uh, if you need to share it with someone else. If you want to get more information about the data, you can click on it, and in our case, again, we only have two fields, but perhaps there were nested structures, arrays, or sequences. If you did have that case, then you'd see those here, and you could expand them and see all of the current values for those fields. You can also see their data type, again, as well as look at all the data for the uh, metadata uh, from the sample info structure and the data goes by quickly, you can always pause it here and take a look at it, or you could export it to a plain text file. Now in our case, the data um, has uh, numerical information associated with it, and we're going to visualize that now with a time chart. So I'll create the time chart, and then change the settings here so that we're only looking at five seconds worth of data, which is a little more fitting for this topic. There are other display properties you can change, the color, the trace type, the point style, and other settings. Once we do that, we can see that the data is an electrocardiogram. This one looks pretty normal, I'm told. And you can um, get a lot, better a lot better view of the data by using the time chart. Now, it is still going by kind of quickly if we want to inspect a certain section of one of these, maybe we see something strange going on, we can drag the scroll bar back and then maybe zoom in and see what's going on in a particular section here. You can also add an annotation which will give you the exact value and if you want you can drag it around and look at the exact value at any of the data points on the screen. You can export the graphic of the, um, of the chart to a PNG file. You can also export the data to a CSV file. And we'll switch back to live mode here. And the other thing you can do is that you can look at more than one trace at a time, of course. So we'll grab this trace and bring it down. And now we can see multiple traces at a single time and, of course, do all the functions talked about earlier. The last view I want to go through is the sample log. So here we'll visualize this topic as a sample log. And the sample log, uh, each row is a sample uh, from, from the topic. Now you can have more than one topic here, uh, but right now we're only showing one topic. And there's mostly metadata fields here, but there is a column for data from a particular topic. So you can choose which data that is, 
in our case the electrocardiogram. We could also add the patient ID if that were of interest, but it's already there because it's part of the key data. You can add the publication handle as well, along with a number of other um, interesting bits of data here, like the host that it came from, uh, reception timestamp, etc. So for now, let's just add that and we'll make some room here for the sample log. So this allows us to see the publication handle is clickable so we can click on it and see which actual data writer wrote that data. And I do want to I do want to add more topics to this, so let's pick the triangle topic and add that to our display. So it's a little hard to see now because it is going by quickly, but if we put triangle in our filter here, we'll be able to see our triangle data. And if we pause it for just a second and click on one of these rows, that will populate the sample inspector. So now we can see all the fields in our topic as well as our metadata. And each row that you click on, so you can walk through and go through and see all of the updates to all of the fields. Lastly, you can export data from the sample log as well, and this will also go to a comma separated values file. Hope this has been interesting and helpful, and if you want to see more of the features for data visualization, take a look at our deep dive video. Thanks very much.